Hey guys, Luke here from Trout River Industries. I'd like to welcome you to our tip of the week, where this week we're gonna show you how to change a chain crossbar. Every second crossbar is bolted to the trailer's conveyor belt. This means, depending on which crossbar you pull, some will have just two bolts, one on each side, attaching it to the chain, and every second crossbar will have two bolts also holding it to the belt. So the most you'll have to pull is four bolts, two per side. Today we're pulling one of the ones that is attached through the belt, so we'll show you how to do that. What you need to do this job is a ratchet, 9 16 socket. You also need a half inch socket if you're pulling your belt bolts. We're using air since we have that luxury in the shop today. Your 9 16 is the one that attaches to the chain. And there's one bolt, save that for later. Switch out for our half inch socket. These can be a little bit, these can be a little bit tough sometimes just to, to hold it in place, but usually you can do so with the palm of your hand if you push up. Okay, both bolts are out now. I've already done the other side. I'm just gonna show you here that you actually have to push your belt bolt down and pull it out in order to remove the crossbar. Next thing you do is just put the crossbar down and roll it out. And your crossbar is out. To replace it, just do those steps in reverse order. I'm gonna add that if you have one bent crossbar, and you don't have a replacement, you can actually just pull that one crossbar out and conti continue to run your trailer. But if you have two or more consecu consecutive crossbars that are bent, you can't run your trailer until you replace them. So to recap, if you have one crossbar missing between two crossbars, that's fine. But if you have two crossbars in a row that are missing, you can't run your trailer. To reinstall the crossbar, as I stated already, it's just reverse order what we showed you. You put your crossbar in through the chain, tighten the chain bolts, put your belt bolts back up through and tighten them down. Do not over tighten your belt bolts. You can see when this comes about flush with the top of the rubber, that's about where you want it. I'd like to thank you for joining us for, the tip, for our tip of the week. We'll see you again next week. And just in case you forgot, always keep your chain well oiled.